Hey guys, and welcome back for day two of my Halloween series. Today's look starts off by fanning our faces. I am covering my eyebrows and I will link a tutorial that I use down below. And then I am covering my entire face with a water activated white face paint and a beauty blender. Once your entire face is covered, go ahead and prime your eyes. This is to keep any of the black around your eyes from creasing. And then I went in with a black eyeliner pencil first just to get right up against my lash line and then blended that out with a brush. Then I went over that black pencil with a black gel eyeliner and another brush and make sure you're really following the contour of your eye. You can kind of feel it when you push the brush in just around your eye socket and then I blended that out just a little bit to make it look a little more grungy. Using a smaller flat brush and the white water activated paint that we used to cover our entire face, I'm going back in and following the general shape and number of teeth I have and painting those on my upper and lower lip and out to just about where my teeth end inside my mouth. I forgot to do this before, but I am just setting all of that gel eyeliner with a black eyeshadow. Now taking a black water activated paint, I'm just going in between all of those teeth and filling in all the cracks and spacing in between each tooth and then also in between each row. After lining all of the teeth, I used more of the black water activated paint to shade in where your jaw meets and blended that back under the cheekbone. And going back to the teeth, I outlined roughly where the roots of the teeth would be. Most of the molars have two roots or sometimes three, with the ones up front usually only have one or two roots. just going back in between the two rows of teeth and kind of molding the tops of them to look more like the shape of your actual tooth. And also while doing that, I'm just shading in the back sides of each tooth just to give them a little more depth. Now that I've finished shading in all of the teeth, I'm going to shade in under the teeth just to blend them in with my face a little bit more. And I like this blended out grungy look just to go with the whole distressed theme. And I also widened the back of my jaw area. Now onto the nose, I filled in the normal skeleton nose shape and then just added some lines going upwards to make it look a little more cohesive with the teeth. Also adding black lines upwards in the corners of my eyes and downward in the center of my eye to tie it into the rest of the face. And with each of those I'm taking a clean fluffier brush and just dragging it along the lines to make it look a little more distressed and less clean. And 
I'm kind of blocking what I'm doing here and but I'm taking a parchment colored eyeshadow and just dabbing that in certain areas of my face. It was kind of just a random placement but I did kind of like the way that it looked to give it more of an aged look. I took a gold face paint as well in the same areas to enhance the color. And with the gold face paint, I actually used a gold pigment as well on top of it to enhance the gold aspect. going over some of the black areas with a black liquid eyeliner just to crisp up some of those lines and to darken it up a little bit. And taking the same black eyeliner that I used in the beginning to line my waterline and then also covering my eyelashes with black mascara. You really won't be able to see them but I just wanted them to blend in with the background. This is the finished look. I hope you guys like this distressed skull look. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below to see more of my Halloween videos. I'm uploading a video every day in October, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.